Hello everybody, welcome to the show. Today I'll be reacting to the Fallout TV show. I know I'm late to the party, it's been out ages and pretty much everybody has reacted to it. But what I want to do today is describe a little what Fallout is to those not familiar with um, the game or the franchise. And yes, there's a large audience of movie and TV show watchers, especially here in Kenya, Africa. Who may want to or be interested in watching the show but may not be familiar with the games. Lastly, I'll just state one or two things I didn't like about uh, the TV show, one or two things that they did, and uh, my general thoughts about the TV show. So getting into it, for those not familiar with the world of Fallout, Fallout is set in an alternate universe where in 2077 there's a massive global nuclear exchange. America and China launch uh, many nuclear missiles at each other. Pretty much most of the world is dragged into this nuclear war. And in the aftermath, the United States is basically reduced to a wasteland and suffice it, uh, suffice it to say uh, most of China as well. There's a handful of Fallout games and they're usually set two to three hundred years into the future and they usually tell the stories of people who spent their lives um, living underground in bunkers which are called vaults and they come to the surface you know hundreds of years later to uh, a new a different world. The Fallout world is basically a hell on earth world where there's Mutated, mutated creatures uh, roaming the, the planet's surface. There's mutated giant man-eating amphibians, you know, mutated giant insects. There's a whole bunch of, of you know, horror creatures um, uh, roaming the surface. And there's also mutated humans, you know, uh, zombies and uh, ghouls oh, and huge um, mutated humans called uh, super, super mutants. There's also a variety of factions in this new world, you know, vying for control of the new world, um, each with their own uh, unique agenda. If you're not a gamer and you're not familiar with the Fallout universe, will you like the show? Well, in my view, it's definitely a captivating fantasy world with with a, with a lot of intriguing characters, intriguing factions, and, you know, uh, really interesting stories. I'd describe the world of Fallout as being similar to the fantasy worlds of Harry Potter, but without all the magic and magic wands and witches and wizards, and being set, like, you know, 300 years in a nuclear post-apocalypse. So it's basically, you know, a fantasy, a, a fantasy uh, world setting without, without uh, magic and, uh, you know, and, and, and elves and stuff like that. So straight to the point on my thoughts on the show. As a Fallout fan, I loved the show. Um, it was faithful to the game. Watching the TV show is basically like playing a Fallout game. The two things I disliked about the show, however, one, I dislike how they made some of the fight scenes theatrical, e.g. Um, happening in slow motion with music playing in the background. I'm really not a big fan of slow motion fight scenes, and I hope they remove, they don't, they, they remove or minimize, you know, slow motion fight scenes. Last but not least, I feel kind of disappointed with how they treated the power armor suit. I feel that the, the, the power armor was weakened in the show, especially when Maximus fights against the ghoul. Overall, I love the show. I just pray they stop the, the slow motion fight scenes. Definitely love to see more mutated creatures, um, you know, in future, in, you know, in, the, in the upcoming shows, more Deathclaws, Anglers, Mylarks. I'm curious to find out what the Enclave is up to and to visit other vaults. Uh, mostly, I'm looking forward to journeying with Lucy again. She's my favorite character. <laughs> a lot of people like the ghoul. Uh, I just kind of like Lucy, her character, her struggle, you know, her personality. Looking forward to meeting with her again in the second uh, season. Anywho, anywho, thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care of yourselves. Have a good one, huh?